the trade that has happened whoa, in the other whoa, field. Whoa. Rondell Moore, formerly of the Cardinals, has been traded to the Atlanta Falcons for Desmond Ritter. Ah. Tom Pelissero hmm. is on the case. Rondell Moore is explosive, electrifying out of mm -hmm. Purdue. Boy, they're up. He has one of the worst uh, interviews in the history of our program. Maybe the worst. Uh, probably the worst, yeah. Yeah. if there's, I had to guess. But that does not mean he has bad personality. He just didn't talk. Uh, it, that was the thing. Talk show. Yep. And we got to... We got to brief that with people sometimes. For sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> not normally, though. Not normally, but yeah. sometimes we have to kind of kind of brief him. And I think he's just a quiet, low-key dude. Like, I think that's just yeah. who he is. James Cook. I think, yeah, exactly. I think he came on the show because we're in Indiana. Yep. He's from Purdue. He knows of us. <laughs> Probably has family and friends that are fans of the show, know the show. I'll come on the show. But I don't think he's, like, a super big talker. No. So, like, we learned that quickly in the conversation. Like, this, this guy's not really comfortable talking to us right now for whatever reason. So, we ended it, I think, in... Uh, yeah, like... Uh, maybe like a minute 15 seconds it was good though it was a good minute 15 yeah. Yeah, we were a big cool. fan of him yeah. as a player but he got on that cardinals team with cliff kingsbury and they started utilizing him in like a tyree kill role he was getting the rock he was explosive he was fast he was making plays a little undersized who cares don't need it and then for whatever reason hadn't seen as much now he's heading over to the falcons and uh kirk cousins just added another weapon yeah. Yeah. into his arsenal and desmond ritter is going to back up kyler murray mm -hmm with the Arizona Cardinals after they lose the Pastronaut to the Minnesota Vikings last year and cut Colt McCoy. Fascinating development. I don't know why this is the case. The Cardinals starting new. So are the Falcons. What are your thoughts? I mean, it felt like Ronda Moore is coming off his best year. And yeah, like he's he's a guy. Yeah, he played very well last year with, I mean, Dobbs at times and then Kyler Murray too. So that, that's what doesn't really make sense is because he's a first-rounder and they're not going to give him the fifth-year option at the end. Of Maybe business could have got involved with that. Yeah. The Desmond Ritter in return thing is, is fascinating because I don't want to say I, we all came to the conclusion, but I think a lot of people were like Desmond Ritter might not be – and for quarterback right now, maybe Correct. in a couple of years, learn more, develop more and everything like that. But who knows what we know because systems are systems, but it's like, feels like Falcons won here. Yeah. I, I, we yeah. don't know what else is coming. Well, because you could get a potential, like with a backup quarterback. Yeah. He could play, but Rondell Moore will play. He'll make some plays, whatever. But I, I, the writing was kind of on the wall, and I went. I looked up the quote. Raheem Morris said when he took it, when he, in his introductory press conference said, "If we had a better, if we had better quarterback play, I might not be standing here." Like when you say that about a guy and he's still on the roster, oh, that's he tough me to, out of here. It's tough to keep him yeah. around. Yeah, Good I point. can see they, they probably been looking. I guess AJ. That's what Tone just brought up there. Yeah. But if you think about your, you can you trade a guy that's going to be a backup quarterback, and the Falcons get a starting slot receiver that can make a bunch of plays. I think it's a great play for Atlanta. Yeah, I love it. No question. Yeah, yeah. I love it for Atlanta. There has to be more to this. Well, there that's because be on picks the on the flip side, wasn't Rondale Moore was the shots explosives like that's who Jonathan Gannon was talking about. Like oh, why you're yeah. so excited <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited to be, 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 unleash you in this True. offense, and then now. Uh, you finally get Kyler Murray healthy, and it's like, ah, okay, see ya. We'll send you to Atlanta. My source says, says. in the know at the time, mm -hmm. tell me that Gannon's friends and family cooked him for that video. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yep. Nice. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. That makes him even cooler almost. That's what my source says, says. have told me. Okay. And then there was another one about the belly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like the fire in the belly. The fire, yeah. Also, like family yeah. and friends, like <laughs> – Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's I, I felt much better. Good relationship with his family, I feel like. That makes him, oh, cool. He's got a tight family. And his friends talking shit on, like, what's going on? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? As opposed to. So, what, you didn't like He's it? like, come on, guys. I don't see you coaching an NFL team. Come on. Now it's worth $5 billion. No, he I did. bet. See, the way I took it was he was like, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Like, like, that's how. Like, I feel like it made me think that he's like. Yeah. Self aware. Yeah, obviously yeah. not yeah. the best context clip that I want out. I didn't think they were filming it, okay? And when you clip things, <laughs> you know He's excited. He's excited. He you know, like you get he's pumped up. I took that from it. But whenever you do, when you do take things out of context from the conversation oh, that's yeah. happening beforehand to there, like that can certainly like private yeah, especially private conversation. Sure. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> not getting Ten into plus it. Years it's gonna happen. No, yeah, you never all know. All of a sudden you're a VP. You know what I'm talking about? It? Yeah, all right. Yeah, people are gonna find out. <laughs> but like that is something too. Like whenever we see these clips potentially out of context, we could probably judge somebody a little bit more. And that person could potentially understand that that is what is happening as well and be, you know, shit talked to about and also humble on the other side. Everybody that we talked to said Gannon's and if you look at what happened with the Eagles, yep. they tried to replace them with two different, you know, mm -hmm. defensive coordinators. Mm -hmm. And like everything that took place. It's like, 
maybe Gannon is a guy. Is Arizona ever going to be a place, though, from everything that we've heard, that's going to be able to go? We shall see. Well, that's what everyone we talked to last year, it was, it was like, you know, Arizona going into the year, especially after all that stuff, it was like, oh, God, this is going to be, they were supposed to be just a worst. full dumpster. Like, keep an eye on these guys. They're really, And then everyone we talked to was like, hey, when you watch the tape, like, these guys play so hard yep. and physical. So, like, obviously his message was landing. It's just are they talented enough to kind of – and that's and they're, they're in a tough division too, which doesn't help. We would like to hear the behind the scenes of why this particular trade happened. I'm sure we'll get a little bit more of it as draft season continues here. Free agency still happening. 